Good morning, everyone. Thank you all for coming. Uh, my paper is, uh, focuses on obstacles faced by innovation in small and medium enterprises in, in Libya. And this paper is divided, or this presentation, divided to be uh, about four, five parts, introduction and theoretical background of SMEs, research methodology, data analysis, and findings, and uh, last, the conclusion and the recommendations of this research. During the 20th century, SME sector uh, had played an important role to majority of developed countries and economies according to Bolton report that uh, it is widely attributed to have been one of the first uh, significant attempts by UK government to develop an uh, environment view of the nature of the SME sector and its role in the economy. Since then, many researchers have demonstrated the significant role of SMEs in both developed and developing countries in, com in, uh, in uh, combating uh, employment and in increasing the rate of economic growth and innovation. It is also, according to different perspectives of researchers, uh, market experiment of innovation is bringing change which the structure markets and industries. Innovation is stra strategically an aspect of business or division of investment decision seats for creating capacity to develop and improve capacity of product. Uh, innovation within SMEs companies has become a subject of much interest. Competitive pressure and globalization has provided the uh, impetus for innovation in the world. Innovation is in, in, in SMEs faced the same, the same uh, problem or the same obstacles, either financial or uh, especially the limited access to external funding, as well as non-financial uh, related to uh, know-how, marketing, uh, accounting, and other business aspects of management. The limited access of external funding, which is mainly represented and dipped, especially bank loans, are associated with the an attractiveness of SMEs from the a creditor point of view. Bank loans require credit history, and in Libya, th there is The exact number of SMEs is still unknown, but the Ministry of Trade in Economy estimated the number of SMEs in Libya about uh, 180,000 firms. However, some Libyan officials believe that there, there are many other un, uh, official or informal businesses as SMEs often operate outside of formal uh, economy to avoid taxation and other uh, physical and uh, regulatory consideration. Uh, numerous uh, several studies have found that uh, countries can improve their economies through enhancing SME sector. They discovered that SMEs can play a significant role in terms of generating income devolving skills, absorbing labor, and elevating poverty, increasing innovation, and forming linkage between sectors which, which can be economically and geographically diverse. Uh, therefore, this paper focuses on the uh, situation of obstacles that hinders innovation in SMEs in Libya and to explore the SME's environment 
in Libya and to shade the light of the main constraints for Libyan SMEs. Also to find out the obstacles faced by innovation in SMEs in Libya. Now let's move to the standard definition of SMEs. They, in general, uh, or in general terms, there is no standard definition of SMEs. But according to uh, uh, MENA region, in some countries in, in that region, like, uh, for example, Egypt, this is a qualitative definition. They have qualitative and qualitative definitions. In terms of a qualitative definition, Egypt, in a small enterprises, the, employer, the, the employees from f 5 to 14, Lebanon from 10 to 49, and so on. Uh, uh, the medium enterprise in Egypt from 15 to 49, and the other countries as shown in this table. This, the, the methodology of this paper, using the snowball sampling method, 91 responses were obtained out of 400 questionnaires distributed, leading to a response rate of around 23%. Uh, From that questionnaire, the data has uh, been collected shown on in this table the percent of SMEs reporting from, from, uh, from Libya. This table shows that only 13 firms, that means 14% uh, of assembled firms were estimated after 2005, after this date. I mean 2006 until two, uh, 2010. And most of them, 42% uh, are estimated between uh, 1998 and 1999, which is about 38 firms. In terms of business sector, It can be seen from the chart that 16.5 of business in Libya is manufacturing and 14.3% is agriculture, 13.2% is healthcare. It's also clear that business in the energy sector, uh, there, is no, there is no business in the energy sector. In terms of type of business, The bear chart shows that, that uh, 98 of the SMEs in Libya are private and 2% is other and there are no governmental enterprises. For the range of estimated, uh, shows the, the majority of SMEs in Libya according to the survey, their uh, asset is are estimated between t uh, uh, ten thousand and a hundred thousand dollar. <clears throat> In terms of financial support, it is oh, as as shown in this figure that uh, the figure before, I think. Yeah, that figure. It shows that 92.3 uh, of the SMEs in Libya has not got any financial support either from uh, government or other sources. Although the number of SMEs have got financial support is limited, however, their support comes from other bank or friends and companies. Most response show that the, the personal saving is the main source 
of uh, equity finance for SMEs in Libya. The, the, this table shows the financial conditions when applying for, uh, for finance. It, it can be seen from this table that about uh, 37 and 29, about 66 percent of the response <laughs> think that the financial condition is set by uh, uh, the, the banks when they apply for finance to their business indicate either because it is very difficult or, or difficult to, to obtain loans, justifying that several factors, including infle inflexibility, uh, bureaucracy, interest-based loan, and centralization. The barriers to SMEs innovation in Libya, including this list of table. I will not, I'm, going, I'm not going to, to read of all of them, but this is the list uh, obtained from the questionnaire. Let's move now to the conclusion. It can be concluded from this paper that the ba based on the survey symbol, a shortage of own, uh, own financial resource for innovation was ranked on the first place as a priority in a birth of SMEs innovation in Libya. While the sh this shows that the second barrier is the lack of innovation culture in the Libyan educational institution and, and so on. <coughs> The recommendation, or, or I, I will, I will add something for, for, the, for, the, for the result. Uh, to cover the fir first object of this paper, to find out whether the financial problem still exists, which has been found by previous researchers, the questionnaire shows that the one of the main reasons for a majority of owners of SMEs avoided bank loan was the interest-based loan the, the uh, uh, inflexibility, centralization, and this research indicates that most owners of Libyan in Libya are males. The means the, uh, uh, the, that means female may face more difficulties and constraints due to culture or religion and family ties. Therefore, the Libyan culture may act uh, uh, a deterrent to the development of innovation in SMEs in Libya. The recommendation comes from this paper. Government should undertake a new policy and a strategy to overcome the challenges in, in this uh, in, in SMEs sector. And SMEs in Libya needs to have an independent uh, governmental body opening channels with uh, uh, or of communication with the funding institutions and encouraging them to support the sector, Libya has to raise awareness of the important importance of innovation and entrepreneurship for economic development. That's the end of the presentation. Thank you very much. Okay.